Okay, good morning, everybody. So today is September the 21st, and it is 8.48 right now. Um, and we are at the hospital with Roger to bring him in for his surgery. So as far as we know, the nurses told us a while ago that after he got out of here, um, I, after he got out of surgery, we would probably be going to CVICU. So, uh, which is a cardiovascular ICU. I ask each and every one of you to please keep them in your prayers and it would be much appreciated. And we are so thankful for everyone that has sent up prayers for us and especially for him during this time. And um, so, and uh, thought of us and stuff like that. So, so I'm gonna show you my pretty little husband here. <laughs> He's is, um, lying in right now and they will be putting in an arterial line in a little bit. And they haven't given him any medicine yet, but he's he's sleepy, but I haven't given him, given him any relaxation medicine because he's got to see the uh, anesthesiologist and he has to see his surgeon before he has his surgery. So, and right now his surgeon is in surgery. So after that, uh, he will be in to talk to us and everything, go over what is to go on and all. So, like I say, I'll, I appreciate everything and please keep those prayers going up. And we thank each and every one of you and I will keep you all updated. Hey everyone, this is Angie Blackman. So, I'm coming on this morning. Today is September the 22nd and I'm coming on to give you an update on my husband. So, as for now, they have him on a blood pressure medicine that when they cut it on, the blood pressure goes too low. And when they um, cut it off, the blood pressure goes too high. So they're trying to wean them off of it. And um, of course, they haven't found the right dosage that they can take them off of it. So right now, um, he has a good blood pressure and they are fixing to give him blood in just a little bit. Uh, she said in a few minutes when she had time to run downstairs and get the blood. Um, because this hemoglobin is a, I don't forget what she told me really, but anyway, it's slow. And um, they're having to give him blood from where he bled so much yesterday. But now his surgeon said he's doing great and his heart doctor said he's doing great. Said he is, he is a very tough man. So, um, so yeah, we're thankful for that and we thank God for that. We thank you all for your prayers and everything that you have, um, the text, the cards and, I got three cards when I had stopped by my um, P.O. box yesterday on the way home, and they came at the right time. Just when this was happening, I happened to go by there and check, and there were three of them in there, and y'all know who you are. So, and I so appreciate them, and the words of encouragement and, and stuff like that. I, I just thank you all so much. I have never seen such an outpouring of love and um, support from all these people that have come on to my channel and on my lives and my emails, my text for the ones who do have my number. Not, not everybody has my number. <coughs> um, but um, I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. Y'all will never know what it means to us for the prayer that you have sent us. Um, and sent up for us. So right now I'm gonna show you um, the, let's see, the how the blood pressure is running now, which is good right now. And um, so hold on just one second. So as y'all can see, 
his blood pressure is 36, 36, and it's, um, and it's really, really low right now, so uh, I'm gonna have to hold his arm up. And it's 62 over 36 now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Here, just let, put it, one. let it lay down real quick. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now we're in the stage of Roger getting the blood and stuff like that. They've already started it. And we're seeing a little bit of the, um, of the um, blood pressure coming back up. It's going up, down, up, down, up, down. And... We have his blood up here that he's getting and stuff like that. Has a lot of stuff going on right now. And he's having to keep his hand like this because of when he lets it down into the wrist form where it drops, um, his blood pressure drops. So we have, let's see, let me see if I can show y'all. We have two drainage pumps. This is one, and we have all, one on the other side over there that is draining from the incision in here and draining out the blood and stuff like that. So, yeah, and it's uh, pumping it out. So, He's thinking it's, he's thinking it's on the outside. And his head is itching him really, really bad. So I got to tell her about that. So y'all have a good day. God bless you all. Uh, we thank you all for your prayers and stuff like that. And we could have not asked for better uh, people to give us, uh, to send up prayers for Roger and everything and for me and stuff. So we want to thank you all. God bless you all. Be safe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. So right now, y'all see his blood pressure at 129 over 53. And um, it'll drop. And it'll come back up. And I'm trying to see. Um, his heart rate is at 77. Um, his respiratory rate is at 97. Um, so... And the blood pressure, you see how it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. And um, this is the problem they're having. Right now, he is on the, um, on the medicine. So it'll start dropping it in just a little bit and stuff like that. And then they'll have to come in and cut it off and, and everything like that. So this is what we're dealing with this morning. And plus him... Um, um, I'm sorry, his oxygen rate is 96, his O2, and his uh, respiratory rate is 14. Uh, right now it's 15, so, um, and it's going up, so he's breathing a little bit faster, and that's okay because you can go up to 20-something anyway. Um, so he's out of one of his medicines and stuff like that. He has a whole pile of medicines hanging up here and stuff like this. Um, yes, y'all see all these up here that he's on and stuff like that. And, um, this is him today. This is, um, the next day after the surgery and all. And they haven't got him up to walk yet. Of course, they're not going to get him up to walk because of the blood pressure. And because of, um, uh, his iron being so low and stuff like that until he gets the blood and then it's going to take a while for him to do the blood and, and um, everything like that but so far he's doing good um, he does have um, some sores in the back of his head and his head is very very sore but I think that's from um, from maybe some of the medicines that maybe he should have told them about because he could be allergic, but I'm not seeing any allergic places on him or anything like that when I check. 
and he does have an arterial line going through. Hey everyone, this is Angie Blackman. Um, so, this is day three on Roger being in ICU after the surgery and all. It is Wednesday, and it's whatever time that says up there. Um, 10.32 in the morning. Um, so, they got him up a little bit yesterday and put him in the chair for two hours. So they've got him up again today and um, he's in the chair. So um, we're battling potassium, blood pressure issues and stuff like that. And he has had some bleeding from the, um, from the incision and um, so his surgeon hasn't been in there yet. And they really don't want me uh, videotaping in here, but. So I have to close the curtains and, um, and so they won't catch me, so. Anyway, um, so Roger's doing his breathing exercises right now. This is him today and these are his blood pressures today. They are better and they stand up. So um, that's a good thing. And so everything's looking good right now, but they are wanting to send him after he gets out of the hospital. Now he'll have to go from ICU to, um, and this, you know, of course they have these on there and stuff like that. and. He'll go from um, here, from ICU, to a regular room. Roger, you want to tell everybody, hey? He says he's um, pissed. He's okay. So, um, so anyway, uh, he'll go from here to um, regular room. And then... Um, We'll discuss uh, whether he goes to a, um, so I had to get that off of him because he don't like to stay on there too long. And it's a miracle that he did want to come on YouTube, but he wants to, um, to help someone else that is going to have to go through this. It's called a left iliac um, bypass, bypass endorectomy surgery. So, uh, and then a left iliac uh, bypass graft. So he did have a very major surgery and he does have two drainage tubes on each side where they cut him and stuff like that. But besides that, um, He's doing okay. Um, so then, um, like I say, it's a decision where if they would send him to a uh, rehabilitation center, they would give him more of a workout than they would at home. Now he can have home rehabilitation, but he wouldn't get what he needs. It would be only like 30 minutes where at the place over there, he would get um, full workouts every day. Huh? So, um, so now we gotta make that decision, what we're going to do. Uh, he at first didn't wanna do it. Uh, and I had promised him I would not send him there um, or let them send him there when uh, this was over with. And right now we're not over with it and uh, we haven't got on the floor yet. And I'm only allowed to stay from nine to two every day. And, um, and of course he is in a lot of pain. Um, so like right now his blood pressure is low and stuff like that. So
so um, they do still have them on as pain medicines and stuff like that. I was looking up there at this thing uh, to see what is uh, blood pressure and heart rate. Now this is and his respiratory rate. So, um, so yeah, they have them on two different kinds of uh, pain meds, one in IV form and one in a um, pill form. So, um, and that's still not touching the pain of it. And I can only imagine how it is. So, of course, he's a little ill. I had to cut it off for a second because he's a little bit ill, but that's to be expected and everything. Um, I'm only allowed to stay from nine to two every day. And uh, then they have, um, uh, rest time from two to four and then from four to six you can see them again but by that time um, because it's 40 minutes away from here and everything uh, by that time you know I might as well go on home and he tells me to go on home and then I come back the next morning to see him again and I stay till about 2 30 they do let me stay till almost 2 30 so um then they give them a wash off and stuff like that and um so i want to thank each and every one of you for your prayers um i'm amazed that he did let me video this but it's to help someone who's facing this and um gonna go through this in their life because I've noticed that there's no videos on there about that. Just only one, but that was being cut down the front. So, of course, I can't show y'all where he's been cut um, on both sides. So, I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you all. I love you all. Thank you for your prayers, your emails, uh, your texts, your calls, your cards that you have sent to my P.O. box, and I'll, I'll link it down below, um, and and the comments y'all put on my wall and everything, and I, I thank each and every one of you. Uh, y'all just don't know how grateful we are to know that we have a close-knit YouTube family like this that supports us and who are beside us, of us all the way. Um, keep us in your prayers especially keep Roger in your prayers. And um, I'll be okay, but uh, keep him in your prayers. And I'd appreciate it. Um, so I know a lot of you have been um, emailing Cynthia and stuff like this, and uh, I haven't updated, but you know, really, I should have put something on there yesterday, but I didn't. But today I'm putting this on here. So today is Wednesday. This is the third day. And um, yeah, so we appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for the outpouring of love that y'all have shown us during this time. And like I say, please keep those prayers going up. We love you all and talk to you later. Bye y'all.